Basic, Basic psychology. psychology, conformity, conformity to social roles as investigated by Zimbardo, 1973. Have you heard of the Stanford Prison Experiment? Yes, I have. It's a famous experiment conducted by Philip Zimbardo in 1973. That's right. Zimbardo wanted to investigate conformity to social roles by placing ordinary people in a simulated prison environment. The experiment aimed to observe the interaction between two groups in different social roles in the absence of an obvious authority figure. Exactly. And the experiment was set up in the aftermath of the Attica prison riots in New York. That's correct. The riots resulted from a protest over inhumane conditions in the prison. Zimbardo's prison experiment was designed to observe the behavior of the guards and prisoners in a simulated prison environment. Yes, and the experiment showed how easily people conform to social roles and how power dynamics can influence behavior. It's fascinating how the experiment was able to illustrate the importance of understanding conformity to social roles. Definitely. The experiment is still relevant today and has been used to inform research in various fields such as psychology and sociology. The Stanford Prison Experiment, Zimbardo 1973 The study aimed to investigate the psychological effects of power and authority on human behavior. That sounds interesting. What happened in the study? 24 male students were randomly allocated to play either the role of a prisoner or guard. The prisoners were unexpectedly arrested at their homes and taken to the prison, where they were deloused and given a prison uniform and ID number. The guards wore khaki uniforms, reflective sunglasses, and issued handcuffs, truncheons, and keys. That's intense. How did the experiment turn out? The study was originally planned to last two weeks, but it had to be terminated after only six days due to the extreme and abusive behavior of the guards towards the prisoners. The study showed how power and authority can corrupt even the most stable individuals and highlighted the importance of ethical considerations in psychological research. Wow, that's a powerful study. It's important to consider the ethical implications of research like this. Definitely. It's a significant study that has had a lasting impact on psychology and how we approach research ethics. Evaluating Zimbardo's Stanford Prison Study 1973 It's a study that examines how situational factors can influence human behavior. Zimbardo recruited college students to participate in a mock prison environment, where they were assigned to be either a prisoner or a guard. What did they find? Well, the study found that not all guards were sadistic and brutal, and some opted to be fair or not exert control over the prisoners at all. The behavior between the prisoners was not identical either, which makes generalizing the findings difficult. That's interesting. Was the study recreated? Yes, the BBC recreated the study, and they found that the guards did not identify with their roles, and the prisoners challenged their authority, which undermines Zimbardo's findings. Haslam and Riker point out that this shows the guards were choosing to behave this way rather than simply conforming to the social role itself. What were the real-world applications of the study? The study provided insight into why some of the abuses occurred at Abu Ghraib, as they may have been subject to situational factors making abuse more likely. It also offers us the possibility to reduce this with training and procedures for greater accountability. However, the study raised serious ethical concerns, considering the level of distress the participants experienced. 